also too, when you're done performing, you don't just leave. That is not what you do. So you may say your Instagram on the mic, but some people may forget it or, you know, they may want to just connect with you right after you're going to have this. This is the thing that I tell artists, like you never know who's who. You never know who's who. So you could have performed and it could be an A&R in a building or it could be a media person in the building or somebody that may be looking for artists for another show. So you'd want to make sure that you still do the same. Hey, okay, did you like my performance? All right, cool. You can make sure you follow me on Instagram. What's up, what's up, what's up? It's Brand Man Sean and I am back with another appearance of Teacup on the channel, blessing y'all with her presence and her knowledge. Now, a lot of artists think that showcases are completely irrelevant, completely useless these days. Teacup has a different perspective. And I think you need to at least take these things into consideration when it comes to how they could work for you. So Teacup, if you could uh, just, just break it down, um, some of those things that we were talking about and, and make, it, make it clear how artists should be approaching showcases if they do at all. Okay. Well, thanks for having me, Sean. Um, and for those who are familiar, um, teacup. I do a lot of showcases here in Atlanta. So I'm always just wanting to give insight or give artists like an optimistic look on showcases. So first off, 2023, how the market is running. Um, as Brandman mentioned, a lot of artists are feeling like showcases and local shows don't hold as much weight as they used to because now people are going viral for discovery. People are getting discovered digitally through blogs and things, and then they're coming back and doing the shows and developing artists. So I know a lot of you all probably just got back from South by Southwest. It's been some time from now, but South by, you know, that's usually the first open range for the summer, the spring, summer for artists to get on shows and festivals and things like that. So I just wanted to give you guys just a couple pointers and tips to make the best out of showcases. Now, so I'm based in Atlanta. For those that you don't know, you know, we're known for being like the scam city of showcases and things like that. So the way to make the best way out of shows is to actually first start off by doing your research. So you may want to research the company um, that you are doing shows of. If you can try to reach out to some of the past artists, try to reach out to the curators, get to know them personally. I always suggest artists before you do a show, go and experience the show. Um, just so you can see the energy and you can see the vibe and you can actually see, hey, is this show, does it look like it's more actual show attendees than artists? Because it is a huge thing. Artists run into shows where it may be nothing but other artists there, yep. which it may not necessarily be a bad thing. It is an opportunity to connect with other artists, but you have to go in advance or do some sort of research just to make sure that this is the right fit for you. Okay. Like and then also having a performance track. So definitely want to be mindful with performance tracks. Make sure you have the vocals. I know a lot of people, they like to pull out certain vocals at certain parts. Just make sure you're not performing over the raw song that is uploaded to DSPs. It's not how you prepare for a performance. Um, I also like to tell artists that when you do shows, I like to tell artists, so so okay, it's, it's a range from the newer artists to an artist that have a more niche fan base. So you have to think, Kendrick and Lil Wayne and all your favorite artists, they're not doing three shows a week, right? Because right. they're taking time to get their followers and fans ready and prepared for their shows. Now, when you are a newer artist and you are trying to figure out your audience and do more performance development, doing more shows may be okay because you want to reach demographics meet newer people and things like that but then as you grow and you, people really just start to tap in and pay attention with you and are happy to see your shows that's when you want to plan strategically and say hey okay let me gear up and create enough content to get people excited for this show okay I'm gonna do this show in about two weeks let me gather some merch since I have a lot of people that are ready and are excited to see me let me get some giveaway items let me maybe get some stickers a lot of people that come to my events are used to me giving out lighters. So it's a couple of things that get people excited, like little party favors, maybe, you know, if promoters allow it, just getting people excited about your shows. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then the next thing with shows, you want to make sure that you engage with every single person in that building before you perform. So I always tell people, if you can get there at least 30 minutes to an hour before your set time, 
you want to go and if you can talk to the curator, if you can talk to some of the media people, if you can talk to some of the attendees that may be there, hey, I am Josh and I'm an R&B singer. I'm gonna be performing at da 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 at this time. Um, you might stick around and see my performance, things like that. Oh, what's your Instagram? So doing a little bit of networking, also campaigning. So as I mentioned, bringing your promotional materials and your items so that you can draw attention or get people to say, oh, okay, he has a movement. What does she have going on? So mm -hmm. it brings a lot of awareness. Um, and then those individual texts that you send out to people, make sure you personalize them. You don't just copy and paste and send, hey, brand man, come out to my show or no, or hey guys, come out to my show. Da -da -da. You wanna say, hey, brand man, I'm having a show on Thursday. Um, this really means a lot to me. It's my birthday and I want you to come out and celebrate with me. I'm going to have a couple of items or a couple of cool things for some of my fans or some of my supporters. I like that, creating that personalization and giving it a sense of narrative of why this show is special versus just pull up because I'm performing. Right, right, right. And then you don't want to hit people. That's why I say you kind of want to, when you start to space them out, you don't want to hit people too much three days out the week hey can you come out to my show hey can you come out to my show people do still have lives jobs and things so you definitely want to get people sort of prepared um also too when you're done performing you don't just leave that is not what you do so you may say your instagram on the mic but some people may forget it or you know they may want to just connect with you right after you're going to have this this is the thing that I tell artists, like you never know who's who. You never know who's who. So you could have performed and it could be an A and R in a building, or it could be a media person in the building, or somebody that may be looking for artists for another show. So you'd want to make sure that you still do the same. Hey, okay, did you like my performance? All right, cool. You can make sure you follow me on Instagram. So I like that the not leaving afterwards because I know a lot of artists. That yeah, once they done, they dip. You know, I did what I did. All my people can go, and you know, I get it. Like you just want to get in and, and get out and get your time because you don't care about the other performers. That's the reality of it. But staying and hanging out just so somebody like me can have a chance to walk up and be like, "Hey, yo, bro, you were dope," or, or whatever, like stuff like that. Because I've done that with multiple artists. So like, yeah, just hanging out and being a little visible for people to walk up to you and just see. Because you just basically gave this performance, right? You gave this big ad to yourself of who you are. Exactly. And now you got to give your chance yourself a chance to capitalize on some of that. So yeah, like hanging out and getting in the crowd for a second to me is, is actually a, amazing advice I haven't heard. If you want to like even spice it up, like I said, if you got some free stickers, go give it out to the crowd. Even if you want to feature the, the, your audience in some content. Hey, you know, I just performed. Hey, here's some people that just enjoyed my performance. Hey, what's your name? Da, 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 da. Getting people in content and then later posting it. And then that way they're staying engaged with you. They feel like they're actually a part of your journey. Okay. You can shoot vlogs or you can shoot mini recaps and things like that for real straight off your iPhone if you're unable to get someone for content. Mm -hmm. So this is a really good way just to make sure you capitalize off the event. Also too, it does look good to people that throw events, media, things like that. You want to talk about familiarity, like people seeing your face and people seeing your brand and seeing what you have going on. So as a person that throw events, you know, I just want to see, I just want to make sure that the events that I'm throwing is fit, are fit for the artists that want to be a part. You know, you don't want to just come up to someone, hey, hey, can I perform, can I perform, can I perform? And you haven't supported what they have going on with their platform because their platform is what's going to keep having to support artists so you want to make sure you show that support make sure you bring your spread your awareness around their brand and make sure you just build that relationship Ooh, make sure you just build that relationship yeah no that's real and i think the term showcase people have a very specific visual of what that is but okay. to me all this applies for let's just say it's not a showcase. You might just be at an event and you might be one of two acts, right? But really the event's kind of more of a party or or whatever, or maybe, um, like I remember I've been in a rooftop one time and it was like like a mixer, but they had an artist perform in the middle of it. And it was only one artist, 
And like I stopped her, got her info or whatever. Um, end up meeting with her manager, all this type of stuff. But like she, if it wasn't for me stopping her, like she was like trying to dip as soon as she was done. And mm -hmm. like you got this whole crowd, you're the only artist tonight. Um, and then also sometimes you might be an opener for an artist, right? Right. But the same thing applies: get in the crowd or try to mix like have have stickers or like things that you can't, unless it's like one of those big official venues wow. where. It's hard. It doesn't make sense for like the artist to leave the stage. You have to go backstage and like there's a mat, a lot of space. And, and if you're on that level of opener, it's probably not gonna make sense. But there's a lot right. of open act shows where you might as well go ahead and get in the crowd and move around and um do everything that you said too. So, you know, don't just take these tips and think of it as a showcase specific thing. Cause I'm on here with like 10 other artists. It's whenever you do your shows. And you put it's put on by any curator because curators like you, I'm sure you do events that aren't all artist specific, right? Right, right, right. You bring artists to lighten up the vibe, right? Or to create the vibe. So, right. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I love these tips. You got anything else for them today? Um, since you touched on, I do want to touch on showcases and I guess shows or events. So I'm glad you brought that up. So typically showcases, they are more artist specific. Um, they are pretty much less curated. So curated means they may not have a specific theme um, or a specific vibe to it. But more shows, they can be like, OK, this is R&B specific. This is a 90s theme event. This is a women empowerment event. But we're just having a couple of artists. So they are very different things. However, you want to make sure you take advantage of performing no matter where you are. And it's the thing that I always tell artists, you can perform literally anywhere. In 2023, all, all major companies are looking to be tied into culture. So mm -hmm. companies such as you got Red Bull out here, you've got a lot of major companies that are looking for artists because they are a direct tie to the culture. So you don't want to just be exclusive to only performing at nightclubs. There's performances at hotels. There's performances on cruise ships. There's performances at church events, at community events. Um, there's performances for Juneteenth, major holidays, things like that for corporate events. So I know um, I was talking to a rep at Walmart that is looking for creators and things like that. So, you know, you want to just make sure that you build relationships everywhere you go and you can talk to different marketing teams or event coordinators specific to different companies about performing. If you're looking for, if you're looking to actually get like a real budget or a check for performing. So. Facts. Facts. Good stuff. How you want to leave them today, T? Y'all can make sure y'all follow me at T-E-A-A-C-W-P underscore. You can text me at 770-765-5422. There's a number in my bio. So if you are looking to perform in Atlanta, um, I do host monthly showcases called Tipsy Thursdays. Now with Tipsy Thursdays, it is an open platform to artists, to all artists, R&B, hip hop, newer, and some that are more experienced. Um, with our platform, we do allow the floor to be open to artists that are traveling from all over. So I typically have artists that want to perform in different places in Atlanta. This is like the first step or the incubator so that I could be able to see, okay, cool. You Are you ready for a bigger stage? Okay, cool. Do you need to do a couple more Tipsy Thursdays to get you there? Okay, cool. Are you someone that has the image or the stage presence to be featured in this type of blog opportunity, this type of creator opportunity. So pretty much if you want to tap into the underground scene in Atlanta, make sure you hit me up. It could be able to perform at Tipsy Thursdays. Bet. Y'all heard it. Hit her up. Appreciate you, T. All right. Thanks, Sean. Until next time. All right. Peace, y'all.